Welcome back everyone to Pontos Fathom Hobbies. This is Season 2, Episode 1 of Time of Legends, Joan of Arc, and we are playing the Battle of Cressy scenario, August 26, 1346. So basically what we've got is Edward III of England and uh, Philippe VI of France. Uh, we've got these Genoese mercenary cards. Let's reveal these and we can place the crossbowmen. So basically this device, we put them in the setup turn. But as we're jumping into turn one, let's just reveal these. And this is where we're going to place these mercenaries. So you can see here in the uh, entrenched Genoese crossbowmen. Flip these all over. And we see one, two, three, four. So basically, we can place the crossbowmen. Uh, here's a I'll show you the crossbowmen up close here. Crossbowmen on each of these positions. So one, two, three, and four. And then we can clean up the rest of these. So this is just a device to kind of randomize. Uh, where the crossbow is. So it kind of seems like there's a hole here in the middle. Uh, that might be one of the st strategy forward. So we can just take these off the board and we can jump into the turn. So it's round one. So we'll move the uh, counter to round one. And we will, let's start the play with the French uh, player. So basically we have for the French, Philip VI, John I of Luxembourg, and Charles the, the Magnanimous. Uh, and so let's jump into our rule book and we can look at the round overview. So the round has got four phases, council phase, first player's turn, second player turn, and camp phase. So we'll set up the uh, board at the top and we'll jump right into the player turns before we start quick shout out to tales of yellow sign volume one and two from Pontos fathom press uh the channel's not monetized yet so please go check out the links below uh you can pick up uh august moldenhauer's lost carcosa and the yellow sign uh moldenhauer also does the preface to chambers the king in yellow uh these are the classics of the yellow sign yellow mythos Check out the other books in the bookstore, um, as well as our other links, Pontos Fathom Press. We do a podcast over there, and um, we're across all the social media. So if you're on alternate non-YouTube socials, Odyssey, Rumble, or even BitChute, go check, the, go check out Pontos Fathom on those as well. Uh, as always, like and subscribe, leave a comment below, and let's get into round one. So we'll start out with the round cards and War Council cards. Uh, we will we'll reveal these above. First of all, we'll turn this one over. And we get our first uh, component. And then we'll also turn these over. And we'll jump right into our... we got two of the same, so let's go back into the deck. Shuffle that back in so there's no duplicates and okay. So uh, we will start out with our orders phase, our council phase. Sorry, we flipped over the round deck. We flipped over the activation orders. We drew the first first three cards from the war council. They have to be different, so we move that other one. Each player can designate one round card for their effects. So let's see, the French player will can well first of all, all the, each of the players get four tokens. And they also have the ability if someone picks this, they can trade one for experience or uh, influence tokens. So that would be helpful as well. So we can we can move to those as we want to. 
So I think first of all we're going to start out with. Um, uh, let me just double check here. Yeah, we can get our legend or experience tokens at a cost. That's a pretty good one, actually. I think that's a pretty good one to start out, especially with the XP ones. So let's have the French player will, will take this and they'll trade in one of these. They can get the three XP. And let's see how those play out. Add them to their pile. Um, we'll also check out the uh, orders phase. Uh, English player also, I think they will gain a English player. They'll keep the rally point back here. I think that's fine. Let's have them also gain a cash one. And they're actually going to gain the, the tokens. Let's give them three of these. Okay. So um, first player, French player, has got the card. So we'll start in with assigning their orders. And they've got a number of activation orders. So let's have them um, activate here and here and here. And so they will uh, activate. Uh, first off, they will move these guys forward by one. And this uh, right here will have um, Philippe will actually try to discuss with the priest. So let me just grab our, I left my priest cards over the other side. Hold on one second. Priest cards are here. So they're going to have a discussion with the priest. I'm just going to gain these priest cards. So we've got the priest here below. And we can shuffle up these priest cards. And pull the bottom card from the deck and we can read the question that it says question uh, it says what is your favorite sermon the one which your congregation last listened to the most and the answer is I'd like to invoke the virtues of goodliness and chastity because your area is very impoverished so we can gain three tokens. So that's great. So let's go ahead and we'll gain those three tokens from the priest. We'll gain these. All right. And then uh, we're also marching forward with our troops here. And also, marching forward with these. And that's going to do it for their action. Uh, let's go ahead now and have the English. English will also do a dis uh, Let's have them put their pieces down. They're going to uh, hire here as well as um, here and here. And 
they will uh, move to here and move to here and we're going to activate declare this action to open fire and fire so let's uh, let's do that first of all they're going to have a discussion with the blacksmith try to gain some points here so we'll grab the blacksmith and again we'll shuffle these so this here is the Earl of Arundel is going to talk to the blacksmith have a discussion with him pull from the bottom question is By the way you check the balance of your swords, tell me. Tells me you know your way around. Okay, by the way you check the balance of your swords, tells me you know your way around a blade. Can you tell me if I can find some fighters in town with such able hands? When I frequented the good trooper inn, I regularly met with some folk. Test black. Test black if okay, so we can roll a die. Uh, else one of your troop units chosen by you is pushed back. Okay, so we weren't able to direct the shooting, so one of our troop units has to be pushed back. Um, let's have let's have one of our um, Uh, let's just have this pushed back here, and then they'll have to come back in the next round. Okay, they're pushed back. And uh, we're going to do a volley of fire here. So we've got the Englishman Bowman. Uh, they're attacking with two yellow, so it's two, four yellow. And they will attack into here. And we get a, a disrupt. And the defense on their side will roll as well from these pikemen. They also roll a yellow. And they go off to, so basically we get the pikemen go into here and then uh, that will wrap that up let's just roll the uh, results of the pikemen see if they will rally no injured and one rally so one moves here and one can rally back to our rally point which is here and that is going to do it for round one we'll see you guys back in round two uh, we'll clean up the components and looking forward to pursuing this another round so thanks a lot for watching guys check the link for the next turn and we'll see you in the next turn bye bye